Monsters abound in the crypt. Army life's tough. Vizima's gates are closed. The Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose himself Taylor. passed through here. Hmm, a notice board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. I should hurry. I'll say. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off. But the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast. And other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask him. Yes? Farewell. ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science, and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem, then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. You don't look like a local. 
I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Ah, typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? How do you obtain alchemical bases? You'll need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator, coupled with an alembic, and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. Farewell.
Jones handsome? You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? How dare you! What a bore! No challengers. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up! We're closing! Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. Alright, I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'm a witcher. Bah! By the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay, I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? It's time I was on my way.
Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's all right. I barely knew them. What can I do for you? Got a room? Yes. For you, five orans. do for you it's time I was on my way you don't look like one to be lucky at love but I wager your luck excels at dice I know a bit about the game sir I wouldn't cheat you an honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game, but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Narakort. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. Farewell. Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin! Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. Tell me about this tournament. Rules are simple. Punch each other in the face, last man standing wins. Simple and specific. Twenty-five orans. Another time. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes. Many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. 
Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Scoyatal? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Do you trade with them? Fuck off! You won't provoke me! Shove off, troublemaker! Shove off, troublemaker! Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We gotta check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. Well, you, well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, Bear the eternal fire's light to the people, and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. 
You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you one hundred warrens. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Haran. Can you solve their problems too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I'll return with proof. Hurry. Speak quickly. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen. Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, witcher? So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? The eternal fire, no doubt. Return to your dark life, heathen. One more thing. Speak quickly. Remind me, what was the story with the fire and the chapels? At night, light a candle in each of the five chapels of the eternal fire around our village. Fine. Possible. 